Worms are eating machines, devouring tons of food. Bert, they're under the ground. No, not these worms. These little guys. Now the worms don't work by themselves. The worms need a little help. So if you ever look at a worm, you notice it doesn't have teeth. In the middle of a city, in a recycle room, with a garden tool, the compost guy is busy making a positive impact on the environment. You see, the scraps we toss out impact the earth in a bad way. When we put it in the landfill, we create methane gas. And methane gas is a major greenhouse gas. These composting worms don't take up a lot of space. About 10,000 of them live right here under this stairwell. Time for a little feeding today. I've been composting worm with worms in my unit for the last two years. So how about we do it in the building itself and everyone can contribute. The bin really isn't that big. Check it out. So it's two feet by four feet. So you wouldn't think that these worms could eat that much. You'd be surprised anywhere from a half a ton to a ton worth of food in a year. And that's what I want people to understand is we think of composting, we think of landfills, we think of trash heaps, we think of that juice that falls at the back of a garbage truck. Right. That's not composting. You want to know, does it smell, right? So when you take the time to actually put your nose down into this bin and you smell it, then you realize, wow, this smells wonderful. Think earthy, wooded forest smell, like what the forest in Return of the Jedi might smell like. Anyway, I digress. Residents who participate in this compost program feel like they're doing their small part in the big city they call home. You can compost where you live. You can do it outside your window, you can do it in your building. So what I want to see is that we scale this, we replicate this throughout the city. A rooftop garden could really benefit from the natural fertilizers the worms produce. Say it's a radish that's grown, it'll be four times the size when you grow it with castings versus just your chemical-based fertilizer. And the nutrient density goes up anywhere from twice as much to 17 times as much when you grow items with worm castings. What advice do you have to someone who wants to get started? Yes, so my advice to someone who gets, wants to get started, just do it. You'll learn a lot of lessons along the way, but it's something you can do.